What's up everybody? It's your girl Erica from the Classy Climb blog. Earlier we had some technical difficulties. So what? The show must go on. So look, the book I'm recommending today is Can I Get Paid For That? It's 99 ways uh, to get paid creatively. It's very different people who, uh, it's got some really interesting interpretations in there. But anyway, it's on the bookshelf this week. Part of why I'm doing this course is I had a lunch and I also got to train 10 people. Now what did I train these 10 people on? how to get non-stop leads not just to their website because some people are like well i have to have a website i have to do all this stuff not per se sometimes you can actually uh go out where i'm going to put it in the course where you can have on your instagram page you have a link tree link link you click the link and it lists all the services you provide people use instagram every day for that every day they go hey you want to check more about me go check my instagram page or you want referrals of my service go check my instagram page people do it use it that way uh, people promote via facebook but what people shouldn't do, what I was using as an earlier example is, a young lady reached out to me and was like, oh, thanks for liking my page. You want to be a travel agent? Now, nothing was wrong with that. But that just showed me she didn't do any kind of research. She didn't take five minutes, two minutes, one minute to go, let me look over this person's page, see who they are, what their job is, and if they would even be interested. She's following a technique that we call old school is just cold calling, just asking. I'm going to ask a thousand people a day, do they want to be travel agents? And then at least three or four, we're going to say yes. When if you could warm your market up by getting people to watch you via video, podcast, information, um, inbound marketing, then she could get 30, 40, 50 people to sign up, say yes, instead of three every thousand and burn bridges by running around asking all these people the same question without any depth, without any research. So when I talk about turning your laptop into uh, ATM, a couple of people saw my Instagram where I was just had a scroll of all the sales I had for the, the 48 hours previous. And I just kept scrolling and scrolling on my email where my email was just going ching, 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 ching. Right. And why is that important? Because what happens is many people are saying, Erica, I don't particularly want to do DoorDash. I don't particularly want to do Lyft or I don't have a car or my city doesn't have it. Or I live in a rural area. Whatever your reason may be, I know I get a lot of people, um, they can't do something because their area where they live, something to that extent. And what I say to you guys is, that's just not true. If you live in a rural area and Uber and DoorDash is not an option for you, that's fine. I, this course is a perfect alternative for you if you want to get in front of the computer and be honest and do four or five hours to eight hours a day. Actually talking to people, pitching to people, getting people products and services and doing it and I'm not just I'm not talking about affiliate marketing here this course is going to be for people who are seriously want to get up in the morning and I've done it myself when I didn't want to drive or I didn't want to do other techniques there's I'm not going to say you can make ten thousand dollars you aren't me and I'll say that being gently you aren't me and I don't know how committed you are I am willing to sit at a computer for hours and hours and hours and talk to people via forums talk to people via different things and go where people are and answer their question and get leads in Everybody's different. Everybody is not at the same level. But some of these sites even give you the opportunity to advertise on them. So you could get more leads and get more business. And so I've done several videos kind of dropping breadcrumbs. If you want to go back, but I have a thousand hundred videos, so it's hard to do. Go back and see for yourself different techniques and things I do from home. If I have a slow day or slow month, I can just go on the computer that day and drum up business. And so that's what this course is. That's what this course will be teaching. It's called Turn Your Laptop Into an ATM. A lot of times I'll have some screenshots. I'll show you some numbers, some figures. You'll see some numbers. And go show all my business. That ain't all your business, okay? <laughs> but I'll show you some of the numbers of how that works for me and, and how I get that money. Now, a lot of times people say, well, I don't know, Erica. I work a full-time job. You know, is it worth it to me? You know, is 100 to 300 to $500 a day worth it? You decide. I'll tell you right now, nine, almost 90% uh, of the online stuff I do, I get other people referring friends. So I'll work with one person's YouTube channel and then she's told five friends. I do one person's credit repair, then they've told five or 10 friends. I'll do one person thing and then they told, you know, so a lot of things you do in business, if you do great business or you provide quick service and actually ask for the referral, many people don't ask, they think that's kind of getting on someone's nerves you'll get repeat business and ongoing business. There are people I've done credit repair for uh, and look up, not even three months later, they got some new credit cards, they went on vacation and their friends asked them, what happened, girl? Where are you, what's been going on? Oh, girl, I got this girl, Erica Williams, to do my credit. Then all of a sudden I get an email, a bunch of sales, 20 sales. But what happened? I got a customer from somewhere 
and and that's the things we'll show in the video because I feel like you know so many people are like Erica I, I want to invest in real estate and I go well get your money up I can't <laughs> I don't want to drive uber for extra hours every day and get extra money that way and I go okay We've, we've written that out. You don't want to do Uber and Lyft. You don't want to do those techniques, but you have to find a way for you to get more income up. And when I talk about you have to make five to 10 grand a month, I'm sorry. Like no numbers have I seen. Even if you want to save, even if you're like, Erica, I just want to save my money and I'm going to put 20% 20, 20 away of my income away. That's true. That's a good thing to do. But at some point you need more, you need more money because there's school teachers who tell me I've been saving for 10 years when she could have been as a school teacher just took the summers just in the summers work more do a little bit more work and grow their business and and that's the sad part so hold on we're gonna go grab some food here real quick you guys are gonna go with me because you know it's what we do you gonna see what i'm getting i'll let you guys see hey thanks <laughs> Okay, that's a little bit in the live today. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, anyway. We had to get lunch for someone else. Because, uh, you know, this is uh, someone special. Getting them some lunch. Anyway, this is none of your business either. But, <laughs> so, but keep it at 100. Let's see what we got here. Keep it at 100. If I lose y'all again, you know, I, hey, I apologize, but it's the road. I don't know what's the problem with the internet in Austin today. But look, like I was saying, many of you are like, Erica, I want money to invest in real estate. The reason I am going to Detroit to look at properties, they're cheap for one, for two, partnerships. I just did a video yesterday. If you did not watch the video yesterday, you missed out because it is all about credit. It is all about VJing and partnering and getting together with people to make deals happen to make them happen baby and so what I'm trying to press on you guys is you got to get the money up and some of you are very talented and have great skills you could go sit at the computer and get you some sales and get you some sales and that's what this course is gonna be about we're gonna have it break down in the video as much as possible um, step by step some of the things I do some of the techniques you will even go on some of these sites and see me on there you'll be able to see my profile and, I, and what's funny is I'll get some of you, <clears throat> you'll listen to my older videos, and some of you are actually doing the work, doing the process, learning SEO. A lot of you had a question about what courses should I take on Udemy, Erica? So I'm always saying take courses that bump up your skill level. Um, not many people listen to him, probably via this channel, but uh, there's a guy who's always talking, he's from Canada, and he's like, your skill level is on you. You want the boss to pay you more, but that's on you. And I see countless videos of people working at McDonald's or some places for $10 an hour mad because they can't get full-time hours, mad because they can't get a raise in their income. And I'm sorry, that's on you, baby. If you want to be paid more, you if you want to be paid more, you got to work more. Hey, Malik Campbell. Funny thing is I've had several people draw me, and I'm looking. If y'all know anybody, message them to me. Looking for someone... Uh, to do a character with the glasses and the hair like I'm I've been looking for someone to do it because I want to use it in a logo so if you find them or anybody who could do a caricature like the cartoon girl you know with the hair and the glasses hey message me their info I will pay them good money because I've had some drawings that weren't that great <laughs> um, so but yeah so if you want to make that money from home, you're like, Erica, I want to make money from home. I want to sit at the computer. I want to get leads. I want to do service for people. Go on that Udemy in the class. We're going to talk, I'm going to point out about 12 classes you could take for like $10 on Udemy and learn some skills. And then I'm going to show you some other places where you can learn some skills that you can now apply yourself because here's the crazy part. And y'all won't believe me, but there are stuff out there people could do in 45 minutes. They just don't want to do it. They don't want to learn a skill. They ain't got time. They'd rather pay you $100 to do something that they could do in 30 minutes than for them to do it themselves. I can tell you right now from having this YouTube channel, people will pay me to go Google search stuff for them. Because I'll be like, just Google it. I just can't find it, Erica. Here's $100. Just go find it for me. And you'll be like, what? I'll take your money. <laughs> so there's a lot of skills out there that aren't that complicated. And um, 
it, it, it's super, super interesting. I mean, it's like, you got to really, you guys got to be serious, right? So, the thing about it is, if you want to be serious, if you want to make money from your laptop, laptop to uh, turning your laptop into ATM course is probably going to go live tomorrow, probably in the afternoon because by the time I record everything today and record some stuff tomorrow, plus I got to like block my passwords and stuff. So when I show y'all when I log in, you know, I got to, so it takes a few minutes to, to block things. So, but seriously, I mean, I, I told you about my friend who he won't come on the channel because he's just no fun. He's not a funny daddy. Uh, he basically spends hours all day on Facebook groups and he'll go in and he has like copied messaging like where he messages a lot of people in these these uh, Facebook groups and people are like that's crazy that's wasting your time all day on Facebook not this dude this dude makes a clear almost $800 a day I mean and then what it is is he like boom 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 um oh yeah okay so I love these answers y'all giving me about Instagram please thank you if you know somebody like message it and I can go back and the rewatch this and get all those names but that's the thing like he's in Facebook group saying hey you want you want info more information DM me now a reason I complained about that earlier is here's the thing we've created lazy education and lazy consumerism now what do I mean if someone comes out and say hey you want more info DM me this is the latest Facebook tactic where people are like yeah DM me the info bo DM DM me right so <laughs> So what happens is you are you're used to instant gratification where somebody will just immediately DM you the information You will go get the information immediately and done right see it buy it sell it. That's a it's a technique People have been using for a while now And it does work it, they use it because it works But that's what's the sad part is it's created people who are lazy It creates a culture of people who are like I don't feel like googling something I don't feel like searching for anything um, you know it, it's one of those things you know like people people get really upset hold on I got a we got a troll in here today make sure y'all block those people might have to put some admins on anyway okay Malik Campbell what makes your jobs so easy how did you lock in so in the course you'll see the there's several forms I have about 20 forms I, I'll show you guys but there's four I go into that are money now what do I do when I go in the forms a lot of times I go in the forums and people are asking for uh, how to do stuff how to how to do stuff sorry the guys downtown trying to clean the windows um, they'll ask hey I need help with this they'll be in the forums just asking a bajillion questions when really what they could do is uh, easily easily go and find out this stuff for themselves sorry i'm trying to put a person in timeout my bad because they're they acting crazy <clears throat> there we go there we go sorry trying to trying to get it locked trying to get somebody off Anyway, VC, that's right. Networking and referrals is a great resource. VC said, there's something I want to do, share experiences of starting from scratch and showing how I'm doing. That's a tutorial. The VC, that's a tutorial. Like, like some of you have really great channels and really great skills. And honestly, some of y'all need to start making tutorials because you have the skill. And it's like, go ahead, do it. Uh, sorry, I'm in this crazy office in traffic where people are crazy. I don't know why they think they can do crazy stuff. Sorry. Anyway, just trying to be safe. Okay, it says, I'm the interstellar beyond. Okay, do you know anybody that know how to code? Right there. Perfect. Perfect answer. You can go in these forums and literally ask, does someone know how to code? Does someone know how to make your app? Does someone know how to do that? Those are services. Those are things you can sell, things you can pitch, and you can find somebody on. Let me see. This one is... Cam Cam says, I do digital marketing for small businesses and I suck at sales for B2B. If I had a salesman, I would, okay, all right. So here's the thing. When it comes to B2B sales, sometimes you might have to, when I talk about, when I talk about going online, online per se, when you go online, there's a lot of smaller little B2B services you could do. There's a lot of, a lot of like, 
guys who have 50 to 100 to 250 dollars they could they could give that might be an area you can increase while you're waiting on bigger level sales because a lot of bigger level sales are like a thousand two thousand dollars people are always wanting to make clients people are always trying to fish for them i'm doing this course kind of not just for the little guy but just for people to clean up in those areas because honestly you're just working on your pitch the more you pitch the better you would be for b2b sales because at some point you go i have hundreds of clients i have hundreds of, of clients i've worked with you know my company's great so that's the thing yeah thank you for blocking them <laughs> but yeah so this is basically what's going to happen is is the course is going to put the finishing touches on it today but essentially that's what the course is going to be about it's going to be about going on these particular forms and these particular sites and you're going to be kind of direct response marketing like this channel is direct response marketing part of the time where i just ask y'all are y'all interested in this do you want to make money buy the course are you interested in investing in marijuana here's the reason why buy the course are you interested in investing in real estate? Join the real estate mastermind I'm a part of. You know, this is very simple. I'm asking you if it applies to you, great. If it doesn't, great. You're here to watch the free information, cool. You know, some people buy the book, great. Like they're gonna make this channel work for them. They won't keep coming back if it doesn't work for them. Which right? Clearly I don't want my phone this week either. You know, my stand is mad with me, I'm sorry. All right, it says, I'm graduating within a week. Want to start a business or product with health services. Uh, education, I'm trying to find my niche. Okay, listen, we'll make that easy. Uh, you know, I'm almost going to make a, I'm going to probably make a course about, if you're a health person, I'm not a super fitness person, but I'm working towards it. I bought, I got a personal trainer. Uh, he's starting this week. We're doing Meatless May. So, you know, whatever. And the thing is, the fitness industry just be real just keep it very simple <laughs> now what do i mean cookbook what do you people you'd be surprised a lot of young men i've met uh at church in different groups they buy cookbooks why because their mom didn't show them uh they ain't learning college they tired of eating bad they want to have food that actually tastes good they don't have a girlfriend there's a lot of young men buying cookbooks there's a lot of women buying cookbooks it's just cultural it's a cultural season of time so if you're a fitness person here's what i eat here's my cookbook here's uh my fitness workout book you know uh go check out bold and determined.com it's a great guy named victor pride he's a little crazy but he's gotten better but he has two he has he used to have two now he has six books but he had two ebooks on one on fitness 30 days fitness and one another one and he was making 10 grand a month why because he was writing the articles he was doing uh showing the workout clips of his body you know that's what a lot of stuff instagrammers are doing right now there's a guy he i can't think of his name on top of my head but he does movements now what do i mean movement he does all self uh body weight workouts where he's doing push-ups he's doing crawling around he's doing all these weird workouts that you think are funny but they actually burn you know calories and make your abs stronger all this stuff you really unique workout and he has a video and you could buy the course for fifty nine dollars and people do they really do and so when people tell me eric i want to work on from home but i don't have any skills in the course we're going to go over 20 courses you can take in udemy 10 to 20 that i think are vital for you i think that will help your business that'll help you period with your marketing so what else do we have here but yeah if you're in fitness fitness is really simple because fitness is really just what are you eating uh, what are you wearing? Uh, pick a niche. Easy. Like like I told you guys about Darius Cooks. He's a cook. And he used to cook really fatty, fatty foods that are rich. And they're like beautiful. But they're really rich, right? And so he then started losing weight. He had a weight loss surgery. So then he did a vegan cookbook. Then he just has a dessert cookbook. Then he has a, you know, holiday cookbook. I mean, this guy sells millions of dollars in cookbooks off of Instagram and YouTube. But mostly Instagram. People see the pictures, people like it. Now, am I gonna say it's super easy? No, but you can spend five or $10 marketing yourself on Instagram and sponsor posts. So, I mean, I don't wanna get too crazy off track, but that's essentially, that's part of what we're gonna talk about in the course too, is, is like, how do you get more leads? How do you get more business? These are all the free techniques, like no money get started this week. And then here's some if you wanna grow a little bit, spend five or $25 here and there, so. 
Mr. Bree. Uh, I don't know who's deleting messages, but I haven't deleted any. <laughs> Malik Campbell, E, do a day in life. I, when I finish, okay, so Malik, part of, I'll do a day in a life um, when we're in Detroit. Right, because we're going to follow Aisha around. She's going to show her some of her properties. She's going to show her some of her construction stuff she's doing. <coughs> also, we'll be meeting at a real estate meetup. Um, it's called Thursdays, th Real Estate Thursdays in Detroit. It's going to be pretty cool. It's going to have food and drink, and it's going to be lit, lit, lit. I'm excited about it. So, that'll be a somewhat of a day in the life. You guys can follow that one. Let me see what else we got here. It Somebody Ray says, check with the BIT, Black and Technology Slack group. Oh, that's interesting. Probably got some coders in there. Yeah. You know, here's the thing. Pay people well. If you find people that do good work, pay them well. Um, treat them right because it, it's a business, right? And if and there's people right now who, as designers, I'll never use them again. They were rude, unprofessional, and I'll never use them again. They weren't flexible. Oh, yes, Cam Cam. We're, oh, yeah, we're talking about that, too, in the, in the course. If you have a prime skill, I would recommend doing prospecting over LinkedIn. Great for finding clients. I get emails all the time from LinkedIn about jobs and people recruiting and people like, hey, will you come speak at this? Yeah, if when people tell me they want to invest in real estate or be in real estate investment groups, go on LinkedIn. Make sure you're on LinkedIn because there's a lot of people looking to put their money somewhere. Malik Campbell said, oh my God, you dropped so many gems. Thank you. Thank you for guys for watching. But yeah, this literally, you ought to thank the people I did earlier lunch with, which really was a brunch because they are the ones who made this course possible. Because after I've taught, I've taught it to them and then I taught it to a group of 10 people. I'm like, okay, I should just make this a course. This is good because it's, it, we're in such a technology position that some of you, even if you move to a brand new city and you're like, Erica, I'm in a brand new city. I ain't got no car, but I got my laptop and I got a nice new cell phone. You probably could sit in your apartment for the next two, three weeks, scrape up three to four to five thousand dollars for that month and then get you a car and go do some new stuff. But the problem is a lot of people have a lot of noise in their background. They're doing a lot of things or they don't think creatively enough of like when I did the breakdown in the video. OK, you, you need five thousand dollars. That's a that's one hundred sixty six dollars a day. Okay, let's say you don't want to work weekends. That means you need two fifty a day. You know, like just make the math easy. Let's say you're like Eric, I only need three thousand. Okay, that means you need a hundred a day. And then you tell me you don't want to work weekends. Okay, that means you need two hundred a day. All right. So, so you figure out the time. But instead of just saying a day, like if it's a hundred a day, if you have two services that, you know, one service is fifty bucks and one service is twenty five bucks. Okay, that means you either need four one or two of the other, right? To get your hundred a day. And some days you'll be up and some days you'll be down. You know, the thing, that's why I tell people, I'm like, you go and you hit the drum up these sites for leads, you can get the money. And, and the funny thing, what I love about the changing economy is we have multiple economies right now. A lot of people see, they'll look at your name on LinkedIn and your title and they're like, okay, that person does, probably doesn't make that much money. I don't know. Or they don't understand YouTube or Instagram. And I'm, a, I'm coming up against that a lot where people don't understand YouTube and Instagram. I'm like, there are millionaires on Instagram and YouTube. There are kids right now who, um, there's several people right now I can name who have never had a job. They're 26 and 27 years old. They've either continually sold things via Craigslist, the one guy fixing four-wheelers, uh, or sold things. Uh, there's another young lady who literally, she, <laughs> I'm not knocking her channel. I respect the hustle. She's beautiful. She is gorgeous. Her hair is similar to mine, but bigger curls. And she has like 300,000 followers. And you know what she does? She doesn't try to make a course. She goes and talks to people about internet uh, marketing and stuff like that. But overall, she does affiliate marketing. Like, she's like, look at my dress. Look at my apartment. Look at this hair stuff. I mean, she holds up at least 20 things in a day. And I know she's getting fat stacks because she has a giant apartment in L.A. Not a little apartment, like a giant apartment in L.A. And you don't get that kind of size apartment in L.A. without some big dollars. So, <laughs> and she ain't got a mom and daddy can afford it. Because mom and daddy, she we've seen their house. It's a small house, not in L.A., right? So... <laughs> So there's people making tons of money from the internet and I just want you guys to be confident in what you're doing. If you take this course and you start actually applying the techniques 
I want to hear from some of y'all because some of y'all are going to have three to five grand. There's just no way. I know everybody's not me, but I, I've actually st stopped, took a Udemy course, and applied some of these things during the week just to test it for myself. And a lot of people go, wow, that's crazy. Like, But there's so much money out there. There's so many people who honestly don't want to do work. There's people who are like, I will pay you $25 to do something simple. Thumbnails, prime example, thumbnails. Thumbnails are so important on YouTube. People are paying people hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for big name YouTubers, but hundreds of dollars for thumbnails. You know, you can go on Canva and make a thumbnail, C-A-N-V-A, and make thumbnails and make stuff. But if you're a creative person, you're trying to save time. And so that's what happens. People, you know, they're, they're trying to save time and they're willing to give you money to save them time. So... It's a right. That's really good. Listen, you guys, it, there's a really great stuff about coding. My course is not going to be on coding. It's just not like there's a lot of different things you can learn off Udemy. And that's the stuff I'm talking about that kind of is a little bit lighter. Uh, I think coding is important. I think it I think it's probably going to be if you think about it, my space had everybody coding and they didn't even know it. OK, little simple level coding, but you get my point. And so what happens is now you're at a bigger level of coding and coding is very important, but I think also what's important is other avenues of technology just are just growing. So coding is very important. So. <laughs> Gloria Mitchell, thank you. Um, listening to you, thank you. Uh, she started following Darius Cooks. Look at it, look at his hustle. Thanks for all the information. You've helped me tremendously. So fun sharing my family. Listen, I want y'all to go check out Darius Cooks for just one day. Just one day and see that guy's hustle. And it's not even, it's so subtle, it's hilarious. Like, he's got guys, have you seen his house? His house is like a six bedroom giant behemoth of a mansion in, in, in Atlanta. Now everybody gonna say, well it's Atlanta, Erica. It ain't like a millionaire house. It may not be. It may be like a $600,000, $700,000 house because it's Atlanta, but it that house somewhere else is a million dollar house. Now he'll have kids, and I'm not gonna say call them kids, that's disrespectful. He'll have young men or young ladies come with cameras filming and you can tell he's always using different young people to do the camera crew stuff because you just tell from the quality of the work here and there. But that's what's lit okay like look at his instagram i want y'all to check it out just for example the one girl i'm telling you that has 300,000 followers she has three different instagrams one where she just shows her travel all the time another where she just shows like pictures of her being pretty and then another one of like what was on that one i think that one's more a little more business business ish but i'm gonna pro like right now i'm working with somebody to help me create three other well two other youtube channels because i have a, a gun youtube instagram channel not youtube channel sorry instagram channel i have a gun instagram channel and i'm and i'm gonna have another travel instagram channel and why is these things important because you start getting these followers and these likes companies are paying people a thousand two thousand three thousand five thousand dollars a day the influencer market is crazy big now I'm not gonna do a course on that till I actually get more knowledge and I actually get more results from it after paying some of these people to do it for me. But what I can see is you can make money this way. This course is gonna help you bump up your income, you know? And a lot of you have great skills, you know, even if you make websites. Some people are charging a thousand dollars to make websites. So let's say they charge a thousand dollars and you make four websites a month. That's four grand. Let's say Erica, oh, I can't make websites, that's too much. Okay, let's say you know how to do, you know, some kind of graphics. There's all type of graphics out there. You can design so much, and I'm not talking about cheap logos or different things, but just so many things companies need and other people need. It's, it's a non, it's ever, ongoing, ongoing. Slideshows. My friend Andre Hatchett mentioned people to do PDF slides. There's a girl I know making mad money off PDF slides because people, one, don't have the time, and two, want their PDF slides during productions, uh, like video and webinars, to look great. Uh, there's a million ways, ways to choose money. Choose one. Uh, Cam Cam, would you have any recommendations for paid real estate mastermind group? I did. Uh, the Hood Estates one. You can join it. it now, the cost is 2500 but it's it's top-notch business folks in there it's top-notch elite it's you're going to learn everything you need to know plus it's people in there trying to work together to buy properties so i mean it's that's a win-win
Corey Mitchell, I need to do more on LinkedIn. Yeah, LinkedIn has got like, there, there's a lot of mover and shakers on LinkedIn. A lot of recruiting going on LinkedIn. A lot of like lateral moves and companies on LinkedIn. They, you know, people need good people. And I hate to say this, but there, what's the problem? Like this guy said, there's a video and this guy said, man, I feel like I work with idiots. And here's the thing. Everybody on your team can't be an A player, right? <laughs> they just can't. Like there's just not, there's just, there's everybody on your team can't be an A player, but also companies, it, it's costly to keep A players. A players go get other offers. People get poached from companies all the time. Poaching happens like daily from companies where good people are like, hey, I see you made all those sales over there at Kelly Williams. You want to come over here to a Coldwell Banker? We'll pay you this much. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll do this and this and this and incentives. It happens every day. It happens every day with sales. It happens every day with all kinds of ideals. So, in companies. So. Cashmatic, working about, of course, the course will drop tomorrow. Um, I'll do a live when it's done. Um, I'm just want to make sure I get all the video right. I want to get all the links right. I want to make sure I show you all the different logins and get the stuff rolling. Hilltop, will you do a video when you get truck? I will. And guess what? Like, I have found three other people who want to buy trucks with me. So, I'm super excited right now. Y'all don't even understand. Like, um, but, like, we'll see. I'm going to buy this first truck and if I... I like how this company works and stuff like that. I'll go buy a second truck with probably with my mom, a third truck with this other girl that wants to invest, and a fourth truck with my cousin. So um, that's kind of how that's gonna work. And, and we'll do a whole, I'll do a whole series with that and show y'all. I love this motivation, good people and money is my comfort zone. Woo, woo, woo. Some people on Fiverr do make thumbnails. Yeah, and what I love about Fiverr is, is the cream rises to the crop. There's people on Fiverr charging $250, $100 for, for, for blog articles, right? There's this one girl. I, went, I had to test her to see if she's right for my blog. And it was like $50 an article. And I already know she has like seven other clients. So I already know this young lady's making boohoo money because usually when people write for your blog, they're guaranteeing to write for like 20 articles. Now why 20 articles? Because that you want the flow and the feel of the blog to sound right. Like if you if one person write an article to a different person write an article, it doesn't have the same voice, right? And then you need to tell people it's it's a guest post if you're gonna do stuff like that. But if she's writing 20 articles for you at $50 a pop, what is that? Let's do the math. Math that's a thousand dollars. Alright? So she has seven other clients. So what does that tell me? That she's making seven to eight grand already. Easy. Easy peasy. Then now does it will there be times where she has slow business and she doesn't have people to write for? Of course. She'll have time for it slow. Pamela C. Exactly. If someone is too lazy to do their work, you do their work and make a killing. That is that is 101. That is business 101. You know, uh, one thing I, I tell people if you notice overseas and other cultures, they all have like housemaids and kitchen maids. And only in America do we have people just trying to do everything. They're trying to be super mom. They're trying to make dinner. They're trying to clean the house. They're trying to go to work. Like, that's crazy. That's a trap. You should never be, and, I, and this may be my card showing, you should never be a, a married lady who is having to work 50 hours a week, come home, do another area a week of cooking and cleaning, and then also raise kids. And I mean, come on, that doesn't make sense. You're going to work to make money to make your life better. So how are you going to make your life better? You hire somebody to make cooks a few times a week, or you hire somebody to come clean your house. Like like this is the this is business 101 this is a life 101 how do we make money in america you solve problems for people you have services and products straight up 101 you know so that's, that's kind of what drives people crazy but anyway let me see <laughs> Q3. Yes, thumbnails. Really, it's the craziest part. Like, but you know what it is? Thumbnails get you thirty percent of your traffic. So let's say you're Logan Paul. You're Logan Paul, and you got millions of people. Which I think Logan Paul is officially kicked off YouTube now. I don't know. But let's say you're some of these other kids who you're throwing out videos every time you turn around. You don't have time to sit there and craft a thumbnail. Like I've actually seen a guy craft a thumbnail. Now, what do I mean by that? He actually chose pictures from the video. Like he had to slow the video down freeze frame it take that picture then get somebody to make a picture out of it i mean 
it was unique it and he took such care it took him about 30 minutes and i was like damn that's too long right like in my mind i was like that's too long Let's just get that thing over with done but that's the importance of thumbnails and you can pay people for that so ah i'm asking because i need somebody to make me an app yeah you you know what you're gonna have to do there's countless websites that you can go get your app made. There's an actual company that just helps people make their app. You got to do some research on that, babe. You got to go Google. But there's companies that help you make an app. Like, you just got to go grab them. Okay. Uh, Boss Life. I love you to me. I'm currently learning day trading off a course cheaper than the $5,000 courses I've seen. See? Right there. Right there. Day trading is something that's so computer-based at this point. Like, you're basically fighting a machine, is what I tell people. When you're going to do forex and all that stuff, you're. It's just. I'm not going to go into it, but. Okay. Somebody said, Carlita Sim says, I'm over 55 and I'm looking for work. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can you can do. I mean, there's the transition has to happen at some point. Either you make more money so you can retire or you transition to different work that you like more as you get older. You just find work that doesn't tax you as much. What price range are the trucks running Hilltop? It depends. The trucks that I'm looking at are like 38000 to 40000 So you know your down payment ain't going to be cheap. But you don't want a truck too old because it's going to be breaking down all the time. And you don't want a truck too new because you don't want to suck up all your money in the truck. You want somewhere in the middle ground so that it's profitable and it makes sense for you. Patrick O'Neach said, thanks you for your cannabis course. Narrowed my niche to consulting prog progress safety and progress engineering for cannabis helping companies prepare for changing state requirements. Whoa, Patrick, we're going to put you on the internet. We're going to screenshot this if it'll let me. I doubt it will, though. I'm going to come back and screenshot that, Patrick, for sure. Uh, Queen uh, Purchasing Trucks. So that I can have a transportation company, a third party transportation company. Now, what does that mean? I mean, I own the truck, but the company over there is going to have the contracts, the loads, the everything. And all it is is the driver. I'm just having to split every week. I get a check for them using that truck. And I just split that 50 50 with the driver. Some people do 70 to 30. Some people do 60 40. But essentially, he's 1099. He doesn't work for me. He's just driving my truck. But the company's paying my truck like a business. The truck in itself is a business, and they pay it. But there's a whole video, a couple videos I did before that. Also, you can go on Hood Estates and go check them out for it. Of course, that's still good money. Yeah, that's still good money. Still good investments. Just more modern machines. But anyway, you guys, that's basically the show today. I'm talking about <laughs> turning your laptop into ATM. There's so many uh, ways to make money and techniques. That if you sit at home, a lot of people... Another day I was kind of whining about working from home and then it was like middle of the day and I went to the post office and I just realized so many people are at offices they do not like doing stuff they know how to do but they don't want to be there and a lot of companies are trying to trim the fat. Even with this coming recession, companies are trying to find ways to trim the fat and so when I tell people, the, the not the better position but just a position you can take is if you're at home, reasonable house, got home office, you got your LLC, LLC going, you got companies paying that LLC, and you can write some of this stuff off later. That's a great position to be in. It just is. It's a great position to be in. I'm following the truck business part. Yeah, trending business, definitely. If you're on my Instagram, anybody on my Instagram, Hood Estates. It's H-O-O-D-E-S-T-A-T. -E -T. They are doing a great job on that. That is a course you guys want to grab. Um, I'm going to do a review of it, but not yet. I told you it's after I buy the truck, whatnot. And I'll do a whole little series about how that worked out. So, but this course that I'm about to drop tomorrow, turn your laptop to an ATM, it's literally, you know, some of y'all are like, well, what, are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? And it's like, sometimes I want to tell you what I'm doing, but you're not me. Now, I can show you the courses you can take, the practice you have to do, you know, what you can do to, to follow it. Doesn't mean I can't guarantee you make 10 grand. I can't, I can't guarantee you make eight. I just know my level of dedication and my level of response. And when I talk about Smartphone Millionaire, that the Smartphone Millionaire book is how to lend money. 
I wish I could do a second book on Smartphone Millionaire. How to just go in your phone and just da -da 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 -da. and that essentially is the book Money on Tap. When we do the hardcover version of Money on Tap, we're going to probably extend it and put some of that information into it um, because we haven't made it a hard copy yet. We've only have the PDF, so we can add more to it, which I love. So, but you guys will hear that first. Queen, I'd say about 13, 13, 14 grand. I mean, if you're going to put eight grand down on the truck, you know, um, depends on the truck. You might put 10 grand down. Most people are putting 10 grand down on the truck, honestly, with a 660 credit score. If you got a 700 credit score, maybe a little less, but most people are putting about 10 grand down. You put about 10 grand down, your payment's about 800. Your insurance and some other things will be about 180 a month. You know, so you're talking about 900 a month. Let's say your driver drives. You know, we already talked about on average the person's kicking out about a thousand nine hundred a week check after, you know, it's sent to you from the office. So then you got to do fifty fifty split. So yeah, there you go. Chase and Andrew Jackson, truck drivers making half a mil in oil fields. <laughs> I'm a YouTube trucker. Hey, there you go. Yeah. So I mean, I'm only buying the truck. <laughs> I'm only buying a truck not to drive it at all whatsoever but to have a driver drive it and uh, be a third party logistics company so that's that's future stuff I mean we got a lot of stuff going on this channel and I'm glad you guys are here to see the ride and, and you're walking right alongside me you know <clears throat> what year truck well there's there's like seven trucks I was looking at so I can't even narrow the year down but you can go on um there's several little trucker sites you can go to look at uh, review they're almost like you ever seen the autotrader.com but a different version it's a different version it's a different version so it's not autotrader.com it's like trucker.com or semi truck.com you have to google it i'm not gonna just force baby food feed y'all you can google with your phone <laughs> but you can go look at all types of trucks but again that's why you need to know you don't want a truck too old because some people are like Eric. I found this four thousand dollar semi truck. I'm like, and it's gonna blow up on the road next week. <laughs> That's what it's gonna do. It's gonna die in a week. I was like, you want a more expensive truck? Unless it's like an auction or a drug dealer, they done sold all this stuff. You want a little bit more more costly of a truck. <clears throat> Thirty thousand. What I've seen is good. Anyway, so look. Anyway, the course tomorrow, I'll try to get it all finished today. If I don't, and mostly will be finished tomorrow morning. And I'll get that done. But yeah, I'm excited for it. But anyway, the point is the point of period is like you get on that computer, you follow the 10 steps I talk about in that video, and you tell me in a month you did that every day for 30 days. I'd be shocked if you didn't walk away with two, three, four, five grand plus. Because it's just I'm not saying everything's so easy. But a lot of people are making it harder than it is because they're not consistent. You know, a lot of people say, well, I tried that, Erica, or I tried to be a realtor, or I tried to do this or that, and it didn't work for me. And a lot of times what it is is y'all weren't consistent. You weren't consistent in what you were doing, period. People don't want to say that. That hurts people's feelings, but that just is what it is. So I thank y'all for watching this channel. Hey, I thank some of you who have been doing uh, super chats after the video closed. I didn't even know you could do that, but thank you for those of you who've been doing that. I've noticed them. Um, I'm keeping your name in the book. Uh, if I find your emails, I'll send you something cool. Uh, thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. So chasing Andrew, y'all go check out chasing Andrew Andrew Jackson. He he's a video YouTube trucker. Check that stuff out. But yeah, again, book of the week I thought was cute. Can I get paid for that? Creative Ways by Joe Stewart. Super creative. And always, you know what I'm talking about, baby. Smartphone billionaire. All right, you guys, I'm going to go grab this coffee and get to give someone special their lunch. All right, you guys. You guys have a great day.